Hello, this is Dr. George Gonzalez. Thank you so much for being on this uh, teleconference today. I'm so excited to share with you the concept of quantum neurology. I'm the founder of quantum neurology, and I developed this work because as I was a student in chiropractic school, my wife had a moderate spinal cord injury, and through that injury and the discovery of her rehabilitation, uh, we found the, these wonderful methods and techniques of restoring the nervous system. And we do this by evaluating the entire body, uh, the entire nervous system, and we evaluate every major function of the body. And when the body is not appropriately functioning, we have a patented process in which we restore those functions. Uh, the restoration of, of the nervous system is actually very quick. Each correction in itself usually happens within five to ten seconds. And our body, is, of course, has a series of these uh, weaknesses that, that are associated with injuries, illnesses, or conditions. And simply by strengthening the nervous system, we see the body heal itself. And I am so excited to share these concepts with everybody because, you know, even among professionals, the understanding of the nervous system is not where I feel it should be. And we've all been trained similarly. But what we found is through the discovery of, of advanced nervous system healing, is we found new understandings of what the nervous system is and what the capabilities of our, our healing truly are. And I myself, you know, I'm, I'm so pleased to share this because, you know, I was able to recover my wife with these injuries. And she had a spinal cord injury which affected her uh, sensation below the navel, the groin, the backside, the bottom of her feet, and the back of her legs. And we were able to completely restore her nervous system. These principles allow us to restore the strength of the, of the motor function of the nervous system. It also allows us to, to recover the five senses, the seeing, hearing, smelling, taste, and touch. Touch is further broken down into pain, temperature, vibration, light touch, deep touch, pressure, and proprioception. And we have ways of restoring each and every one of these functions in the nervous system. The exciting thing is that I know how to teach this concept. And I know how to teach you how to evaluate each and every function of the nervous system and how to restore each of these very simply and easily. Nothing is added to the nervous system. Nothing is removed. These techniques are simple to learn and they're duplicable. And uh, today we have a few doctors on the call that I'm very proud to call my students. Uh, they, they have inspired me with the cases that they've, they've helped using these concepts. And so we have quite a few doctors here on the call today, and the first person I'd like to introduce is a very close friend of mine, Dr. David Pascal. He's a chiropractor. He's been practicing for over 25 years. He, has, uh, he was actually my, my first student, uh, which is so exciting to, to have him here with me today. Uh, he was recently featured on ESPN uh, documentary. Uh, he's been featured in Sports Illustrated and FlowTrack uh, t um, Flow Track website, which is a track and field website. He's a former champion uh, track and field athlete himself. Uh, he is using these revolutionary concepts, concepts of nervous system rehabilitation on athletes. He was at the Beijing Games where his, part, his patients who participated in the Games brought home 20 medals. So truly applying these concepts to the most advanced elite athletes in the world and he also applies these concepts to people who are severely disabled. He has a nervous system practice, and I'd love to hear him share his, his uh, success with you about using quantum neurology and how it's uh, enhanced his life and his practice. So, Dave, if you, if you have a moment here, uh, we'd love to, to hear from you. Thank you, Dr. Gonzalez. Um, very honored to get to be on this teleconference and uh, share some of our successes with everyone. I'm uh, in my 25th year of practice and been using quantum neurology now for 10 or 12 years, quite, quite, quite a while. And as uh, George pointed out, we have been able to uh, not only get to, to work with some of the greatest athletes on the planet, but also with some of the most impaired people and they come to us from Europe and Asia and, and across the United States, and I uh, thought I'd share a couple of examples of, of some of those patients. I had one uh, 
uh, kid, he's about 21 years old, seven years before he came in to see me, he was a passenger in uh, a van. He was going to a, a Little League game, and the driver had a heart attack, crashed the van. He's dead. A bunch of the kids are banged up, and this one young man hit his head, and he was knocked into a coma. They rush him to Duke Hospital. He has massive bleeding on his brain. They remove part of the skull. They drain the, the bleeding, and for three months he laid in a coma, at Duke Hospital. When he finally came out, he had, as one would imagine, massive neurologic damage. And he went through years and years of rehab. And finally, seven years after the initial accident, he comes into my office. The right side of his face is completely collapsed. His right arm is hanging basically dead at his side. Uh, he is dragging his right leg behind him. He lives at home. He works as a left-handed dishwasher at a major company here in, in my town. And uh, he was not in really good shape. So I give him a complete by-the-book neurologic workup. And uh, when I was all done, I asked him that he was sitting on my table, his right hand is right arm was laying on his uh, lap, I asked him to go ahead and contract his bicep and bring his right hand all the way up to his shoulder. And when he tried to do that, his arm just shook a little bit. There was just a little muscle fasciculation. And that's how it had been ever since his accident. I did one quantum neurology correction. I asked him to try again, and he brought his arm all the way up, his hand all the way up to his shoulder. He had full contraction of a bicep that had been dormant for seven years. So over a series of treatments, we were able to turn all of his muscles back on. His face that had been collapsed, that right side, it looked like he had a stroke. We were able to turn those facial muscles back on. He has a, a beautiful smile. We were able to turn his hip flexors back on. He had a normal gait. Of course, he had major atrophy after seven years of disuse, but the first step is to turn the muscles on, and then the second step is to, to handle the atrophy. Another example, more of a sensory nature, uh, one of the coaches over at the University of North Carolina sent in one of their soccer athletes, young girl, 